Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of the World Tournament gameplay. Uh, as you see over here, I am not have I don't have any real good rank right now. I did not get to play a lot yesterday. There was a lot of work to do when I was at my, uh, my job. And uh, after work, I went home and I went right to bed. So uh, I plan on doing catch up today. Hopefully I can get within the top 1000. That's kind of what my goal is. Um, I did clear everything up until the top 30. Um, so, to, you know, for the, the, the hardness thing, for the hardness bonus. Um, hit is going to be number one up until the 20,000th place. I know I already talked about this a little bit. So uh, you can get hit up until you score within the top 20,000. Um, local rewards, we have the new TN that goes to LR. You want to get in first place for two of them. Uh, second to third places, you're going to get one of them. And you get one of him all the way until you get to the top 100. Uh, it's really the master marks that go up at that point. I have enough to get him to LR. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that until I get him to Super Attack 10, and then go get him to LR, and then I'll do the same thing with another one, get another, like, TN, and get him to Super Attack 20. Plus, I don't want to Doken Awaken him until I get all four view pads unlocked. Probably won't do that for a while. Um, I also haven't even scored over 3 million points, so I have a lot of work to do. But because I'm at the 30-time multiplier, it's going to make life a lot easier. It goes a lot quicker once you hit that multiplier. So, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, in terms of the actual ranking... Uh, in terms of the borders, let's see where the 20,000 is at right now. So, so 20,000... Let's stop doing that. What are you doing? Um, 20,000 is at how many wins? Uh, 25 wins. So that's not that bad. Um, 27 wins is 10,000. 35 wins is 5,000. So the top 1,000, you have to get at least 51 wins. That is currently at like 10 a.m. Eastern time uh, on Saturday. So there's a long ways to go. I don't, th I don't think I'm going to get the top 1,000, but I'm definitely going to get the top 20,000. I know that. Because uh, even though I only have like eight wins, I'm, I'm going to be able to get Because I usually do up to like 30, 40 wins. And uh, because I'm actually trying, I've gotten up to 100, 120 wins before. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, this is the team I'm running. So I just want to show you guys real quick. Um, first things first, this has made life so much easier uh, being able to use the, the friend system uh, just because I could search for the Brolies now. But uh, yeah, this is what's going on. I have my friend supporter as Broly up on top, as you see. Um, and look at this. This is the team I'm running. I did this in a video before. The only difference now is I have a Majin Vegeta for orb changing. He does agility to strength, which is very useful. Uh, I have Goten over here, which is a key orb manipulator, physical to rainbow. And Majin Buu, which does intelligence to strength. So he has nothing but key orb manipulators. I have a double LR Broly lead. And then, of course, you have the Champs, Tien, and Jocko, which stun all the enemies as soon as they're on the field. So chances are, you have a 100% chance to either have all the enemies stunned or have an LR Broly on rotation with this build and with this setup. So that way, if LR Broly isn't there, the enemy's going to be stunned. So uh, you're pretty much golden. I mean, actually, I think there's only, there's only, yeah, there has been. Actually, it's funny, it's happened two times. Um, I have literally only had it happen once or twice. It's not 100%, uh, where literally it was just all the key yard manipulators on the primary rotation. And it was horrible setup, but I mean, it's all right. I just used my Ghost Usher. I am bringing Ghost Ushers, as you saw in my items. And that makes life a lot easier. So uh, we're going to go over here. I just go straight for the kill as fast as I can. I'm done collecting everything. I don't need anything anymore. In terms of like the metals specific to the tournament, I have over 700 of each of them. Uh, so I don't need them anymore. It's just, it's very, very easy. And since this isn't the preliminaries, I use... So what, what I'll do is uh, in the preliminaries, I will keep my stunner like that instead of having my stunner off at the end. But because I don't need him, I'm going to use him for the links just to play it safe. And now my Broly will get a double super attack with the uh, Super Saiyan buff. So uh, there we go. That's all good. And then I just usually will try to go for uh, more... Ah, uh, damn, I missed. For most of the key orbs, you get a little bit more points for that. The more key orb, the more key that you can collect. So uh, but yeah, there, there we go. Broly's doing his thing. It's pretty standard. I'm just doing this kind of video for uh, those of you who are newer who want to see what team I was running and everything. Uh, the other option is if you're lacking a key orb manipulator or a couple of them, you could always run uh, another... Well, if you have the TUR Broly, the free-to-play Broly is good to run alongside of him because he'll give him some link skills. Uh, the LR Broly does have prepared for battle. If you have the OG Broly, he doesn't, but you, you could still run the uh, the free-to-play Broly alongside of him. That'll help him out a lot. Uh, but yeah, just pretty much Broly, the two uh, the two more common uh, stunners, uh, the Chiaotzu and Jocko, and uh, an AoE. I know you do also have the um, the Raditz. You could definitely use Raditz. Uh, he is a good option to bring because he is an AOE. You might just need to bring the nuker lead with you if you're doing using him as a leader. Uh, we're using him for the nuking of capability. So uh, just, just keep that in mind. It might be a little bit of pain in the butt with him. But it, it will definitely work. And if you're not trying to go on like a 30 time multiplier, he could definitely take it on without any issues. Um, it's just a little bit, you know, it's more work to do it with him uh, because of that aspect. You're either going to have to... There we go. Look at that. See, I don't have an LR Broly here. But the, they're stunned, so I'm good. Now, the, big, the biggest, hardest thing is with the key orb manipulation, trying to get these guys to, like, not use any of the uh, power orbs. 
or the strength orbs because you want to save them for the LR Broly. Um, with this round, I was actually pretty set with that. I don't have to worry about anything. All right, cool. So it just goes one, two, three. You just want this to get out of, there, out of the way quickly. And then there we go. Now we have LR Broly. We have Jocko on there to do another. Now, sometimes you don't want, like, I don't want all those key orbs there because this will give me an ultra super attack and I don't want an ultra super attack. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. Alright, cool. We're good. We want the double super attack here specifically because uh, you, if Broly do doesn't do um, a double attack, some of the agility units will survive. So, I mean, it doesn't matter because they are, they are going to be stunned, but you just want it to be over as quick as you can. So, there we go. And we have Broly going in. He's going to do his double super attack, and it should be good. We should be all set. Um, I did my daily missions already, by the way. So, I know there's just so much to talk about as well, but because of my freaking grinding of the world tournament... Plus, you know, going to work and uh, I'm trying to exercise and everything and trying to get on a better sleep schedule. Hell, that's why I could actually bring these uh, videos to you earlier in the morning now. It makes my life a lot easier to do this. Um, there we go. Final result. World champion. I completed, I think this was the 30 time multiplier too. Uh, it was either 30, 25 or 30. Pretty sure it was a 30. Nine wins, nine wins, four million. Nope, that was a 25. All right, now I have the 30 time multiplier, and now I'm go now I'm really golden. Uh, as soon as I start doing the 30 time multiplier, my rank is going to skyrocket because I'm going to jump above all those people who have unfortunately don't have any good AOEs and they they're not taking on 30 time multiplier. So I'll be able to go through without any issues. Um, in terms of the teams, like I was saying, usually I will bring this. If I didn't have a key orb manipulator, I would change out. Like if I didn't have Majin Buu, I change it out for the Tur Broly. I luckily I do have the uh, Tur Broly over here. Um, as you see there, that's a good blinking buddy for LR Broly, uh, and pretty much anyone else who will link well with him, or any other type of support unit. So, if you're looking for support units on Goku Black, Rose, Super, Super Saiyan Rose, the Strength one, or the Agility one, you bring the Strength one if you have him, obviously. Um, so that will definitely help you out. Um, Evil King Piccolo from uh, the Dragon Ball Saga Summons. Pretty much any of those guys you can bring, it'll give him key. It'll be better if you if you don't have any key or manipulation. So I did do team building guides on this in the past, but uh, I figured let me, let me just talk about it here. And uh, pretty much anyone who has key, go over on the wiki. The wiki has a key boost section, so that will help you decide on who you want to bring. I really want to get the LRTN as fast as I can, but honestly, it's going to take me, what well, I'm going to need to get five of them, just to get them to super attack 10 with all four dupes unlocked. So that's going to be at least three world tournaments worth of me grinding. Um, and then I'm going to need to get, uh, the, and then I'll at least have one more that I'll get from that, from that, uh, because it'll give me six total if I come in first place each time. And the sixth one I'll just use for super attack 10, and then I'll just continuously doke and waken them until he's at super attack 20. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I have a whole bunch of maker mark medals. Let's go over here really quick. I'll show you, uh, more making medals. Where the heck are you? See, look, what I was saying before, okay, so over 600 each. I have the turtle and the bombas. The reason why it was over 700 before, I used them to doke and awaken someone in order to feed into a super attack. So, but the makers mark medals for the world tournament should be down over here after the super strike event stuff. Uh, here we go. I have 196 of them for the masters marks for the world tournament. Um, so yeah, I have more than enough to get him doke and awaken right now. So I will definitely be doing that as soon as I possibly can. But uh, that's it for me for the World Tournament. Let me know, guys, down in the comments below. Are you guys going for the World Tournament? Um, if you guys are, what place are you trying to go for? And um, I, if, because I, the, the thing is, the World Tournament ends on Sunday. Uh, I don't, I, I may do a live stream Sunday night ending off the World Tournament with you guys. So I, I'd be home by like midnight. That would give me like, I think, two and a half hours worth of game time with you. Uh, about on average, just an, an estimate. I don't really want to do that because it's going to screw up my, my sleep schedule because I've been trying to wake up really early, but we'll see what happens on Sunday. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted about it. Uh, I still want to do the, the, the actual overview of the new Dragon Ball Legends cards, so I'll have that out to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, and there's just so much stuff. All the stuff that I've done in my news update videos, the last two news update videos, I want to get videos out for you. Uh, just time constraints, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I'll do that as fast as I can anyway. But guys, thank you again for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. If you have any questions about team building, let me know in the comments below. Um, pretty much it's what I said. Just bring an AoE. Make sure they can get off their super attacks. And if they're not a strong AoE, bring a nuker leader if you don't know what a nuker leader is. I'm pretty sure I did a video on that. But it's any leader that allows you to increase your attack per key orb obtained. For instance, like the Technique one has a Super Saiyan Blue Technique Goku. But again, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace out, and you guys have a great day.